name and tell us whether you're well paid or not. I'm Matthew, today I'm unpaid. Okay, but generally speaking, are you well paid? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you're not well paid. Right. Lewis, tell us your name. I know it's Lewis. Are you well paid? Are you just paid enough? Okay. Are you English, Matthew? I am. Which part of England are you from? Yorkshire. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> Yorkshire for those people who are disillusioned with life for a little more joke. And uh, where were you born? In Liverpool. And you actually moved and went to another country. Where was it? So you moved to Poland, you were born in Liverpool. You're a, are you a Polish scouser or a scout Polish? <laughs> Okay. Now, I'm going to ask him some hard questions, but I'm going to ask you a question, see if you can answer it, right? If you've got nothing, how much can you add to it? So you've got nothing, big fat nothing, how much can you add to nothing? Answer? Nothing. Nothing of an A-level in maths. How much can you add to nothing? Nothing, well, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> All right. Now, but the universe has come from somewhere, hasn't it? Think about it. Now, Matthew, tell us what age were you when you became a Christian? I was 18. 18. And what age are you now, Matthew? 24. 24. Now, when you live as a Christian, do you find it easy or do you find it tough going? I find it tough going. You find it tough to be a Christian in the UK. Do, yeah. Now, you've only been a Christian six years, so what would you say is one of the things that's tough for you, Matthew? Tough living out my face, sharing my face. Well, why, why is it tough? Because nobody wants to hear, as you can see. Everybody wants to hear. Well, that man, that man wants to hear. And that man says he wants to film, not only here, he wants to film. Hello, <laughs> Bob. Now, Matthew, what I'd like to know is why don't you just jack it in? and do something else. Because I know it's true, and I know that through Christ I have a hope beyond the grave. Because so you're saying that you know it's true, yeah. and you know you've got a hope. Now, I'll come back to my friend Lewis, who's actually Polish. Uh, Lewis, can you tell me what age were you when you became a Christian? 21. Are you going to heaven because you've been forgiven? That's what you're going to 
Please. Matthew, are you agreeing could you be forgiven? I am. And can anybody be forgiven? Everybody. Anybody. And does God want people forgiven or not forgiven? He does want people forgiven. How do you know? Because he went all the way to the cross on your behalf, dying in, in, in your place so that we could be forgiven. So the cross of Jesus shouts to the world, I will forgive you. But if you ignore me, he's got to charge you with your sin, hasn't he? Yeah. Which is fair, because yeah. I've done it. That's fair. But when you're forgiven, ladies and gentlemen, you've got eternal hope. Hope you haven't lost any hope in Jesus Christ today. And if you don't know how to make it to heaven, you just look at the cross and it will dawn on you how it's found. God bless you. We'll have a little break. Have a lovely afternoon.